At this point, you probably want to begin adding some of your citations to a document that you are writing. To do this, because RefWorks is an internet-based program, you'll actually need to download an additional program to your computer so that your Word document and your RefWorks account can talk to each other over the internet. To do this, simply go up to Tools and select Write and Cite. Write and Cite is the program you will be using to insert citations into your paper. A new page will open with links to download Write and Cite. Select the appropriate link for your platform and follow the instructions to install. For me, I'll be downloading the Windows version and saving it to disk. Once you have finished installing the program, open up your Word document. Here, I have a document started, which I'm going to add citations and a bibliography to with Write and Cite. Since I use Microsoft Word 2007, I can see the Write and Cite button has been added under the Add-ins tab. If you're using Microsoft Word 2003, things will appear slightly different. I'll use this Write and Cite button to insert my citations. If you're not already logged in, do so now. If you have multiple Word documents open, remember to check at the top of the Write and Cite window that the file name you are adding citations to is correct. To add my citation, first I'll identify where I want the citation added and place my cursor there. Then I'll go to my Write and Cite window which displays all my references. You can locate references here in the same way you have through normal RefWorks either by browsing through everything page by page, going up to the View tab and browsing a folder, or using the search box to the right. Once I've identified the citation to add, I simply click on the link to cite. If you want to add more than one, simply click on the additional citations to cite them. Now, to see my citations in the document, I'll minimize Write and Cite. Here, you see my citations added. Yes, they look like gobbledygook. But don't worry, they won't stay this way. This is a temporary format that RefWorks uses. Write and Cite will change this temporary format to the properly formatted in-text citation only after you've created your bibliography and selected a particular bibliographic format. So don't worry about how the citations look for now. Finish adding all your citations with Write and Cite. Okay, so let's say we've completed adding our citations and this is the final document. Before I use Write and Cite to format my in-text citations and add my bibliography, I'll save a copy of the unformatted final document. If I want to make changes later on, it will be easier to modify this unformatted document than the final formatted document created by Write and Cite. So I'll save this document as sodapaper.docx. Now, I can go ahead and use Write and Cite to format my in-text citations and add my bibliography. Return to Write and Cite and go to the top of the window. Click on the Bibliography tab. At this point, you'll have the choice of Output Styles. Go down here to the Output Style menu. I'm going to select MLA 7th Edition. Scroll through until you've found the output style that you want. Make your selection and then click Create Bibliography. The window will change to tell you that the document was formatted without errors. By minimizing RefWorks, I can see that my paper is now properly formatted and includes a bibliography. Make sure to save this formatted document with a new name so that you can still go back to the original unformatted document if you need to make changes. I'll go up to the Windows icon and select Save As and name my formatted document so to paper formatted .docx. And that's it. I have a final paper appropriately formatted in the MLA style, and a backup of my unformatted paper, which I will use if I need to make changes to my paper. If you're interested in learning more about RefWorks, have questions about these tutorials, or need assistance, please contact the Biomedical Library.